वेलकम गाइस दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 41 ऑफ नेट दिसंबर 2018 एंड इट्स अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पार्ट बी सो लेट अस रीड इफ y1 एंड y2 आर टू सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ द ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन cos x y डबल डैश प्लस sin x y डैश प्लस समथिंग qx y इज इक्वल टू 0 एंड आवर इंटरवल इज माइनस π/2 टू π/2 ओपन इंटरवल सो वी हैव फोर कंडीशंस and what we have to do is we have to find the Ronskian of y1 and y2 at pi by 4 okay so before beginning with the question i will provide you a note regarding uh, to find the Ronskian of some particular type of differential equation okay so let us make this as a note okay so if your equation okay so if your equation is like this if y double dash plus pxy dash plus qxy is equal to 0 is your differential equation is differential equation with px and qx continuous okay in the given interval i okay i am talking about the continuity in the given interval i then okay so since it's a two order equation two order differential equation so the dimension of the solution space for this differential equation is two that means it has two li solutions okay so uh, what we uh, so assuming let y1 and y2 be two li solution be two li solution okay since dimension is 2 so we can assume that there exists y1 and y2 be two ally solution okay then ronskian of y1 comma y2 at a certain point is given by some constant times of e to the power px dx okay minus px dx so this is the formula for finding the ronskian of two ally solution of this type of differential equation okay now for by this formula this question become very very easy okay so what is given to us we have this type of differential equation so firstly we will convert this type of differential equation into the standard one okay so we have to convert the given equation into this equation so just divide by cos x i can divide by cos x because cos x is non-zero on this interval okay so i am dividing it by cos x so what you will get you will get 10x y dash okay so i am not writing the term which is which will be uh, evaluated here i can take just as it as qx okay it will be cos 1 minus e to the power minus x square over cos x there is no need of no need to find qx here because uh, because in the question we don't need qx so i am not evaluating this one so this will be your given differential equation okay and uh, your interval is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 okay now by this note what we have we can directly say that your Ronskian for y1 and y2 at the given point is given by c e to the power minus 10x dx and it is c e to the power minus log sec x and which can be written as c cos x okay so your Ronskian is c times of cos x the only thing that we, that is required here to find this constant c here okay so we have to find c okay so generally the formula for Ronskian of two different function is given by this one okay y1 dash and y2 dash okay you know this formula for finding the Ronskian so by this formula what you can say is that y1 y2 minus y2 y1 dash is your okay this is your Ronskian generally for two function y1 and y2 now you have to evaluate this at x okay so I will evaluate this Ronskian at 0 okay so I will I am evaluating this Ronskian at 0 so it will look like this and uh, I can write it like this y2 dash of 0 minus y2 of 0 y1 dash of 0 okay now you you see why i have evaluated this at 0 because 
the uh, the conditions that we have is evaluated at zero that's why i am evaluating the renstron skin at zero so you know y1 of zero is uh, root two and y1 dash of uh, zero is one okay so we have four conditions so, so i am just using those four conditions so it you will get uh, you will get two times of root two minus okay you will get plus root two here okay so it will be three root two so you got this point that your Ronskian at 0 is 3 root, root 2 and uh, you you have also evaluated Ronskian at any point and it is given by c cos x okay so by this equation just evaluate your Ronskian at 0 what you will get you will get cos of 0 and cos of 0 will be removed from here so you will get c here okay so Ronskian at 0 is 3 root 2 that means your c value is 3 root 2 okay so your c value is 3 root 2 now uh, c value is 3 root 2 so your ronskian will be given by c times of cos x and c times of cos x is 3 root 2 times of cos x okay so this is your ronskian you have evaluated it at a general point now in the question what you have to do you have to evaluate it at pi by 4 okay so at pi by 4 what will what will be the value it will be 3 root 2 into 1 by root 2 and that is 3 so your third option is correct and all other options are false okay so thank you guys